A couple weeks back, I was scrolling through the old gram when I stumbled across this post from Amantas Ralonitis. And when I saw this post and I stared at it for like five minutes, my eyeballs just about nearly popped out of my skull. You see, these videos are in fact not even videos. They're photos. And these incredible product photos were then dragged and dropped in a program which spat out what you just saw, which are these really sort of surreal quote unquote videos. Now this right here is called Runway. I had never heard of it until I saw that post from Rallonitis, but it's essentially a program that uses AI to generate videos. Specifically, their Gen 2 system is what was used to create these crazy looking videos. And on Runway's website, they describe Gen 2 as a multimodal AI system, which can generate novel videos with text, images, or video clips. But I wanted to try Gen 2 and I wanted to take you all along with me. So let's hop in and see what it's all about. Okay, here we are in the runway dashboard. There's a whole bunch of stuff that we'll probably save for a future video. What I'm interested in today are these things up here. We've got the text to video, which is generate video with text prompts. And then we've got the image to video, which is generate video with image prompts, no text needed. Let's start with text to video and see what we can create with our imagination. And it just says here, use text with an optional image to influence the style. Let's try a beer bottle falling into a container full of honey in the style of professional cinematography. Generate. Now this will probably take a few minutes. I have absolutely no idea what this is gonna turn out like, but we'll see. Oh my God, what, <laughs> what on earth? I don't know how I feel about that one. That's uh, mm. let's try something else. An old fashioned cocktail on a bar parallax. I don't even know if that's how you spell parallax in the style of a professional drink commercial. This looks, uh, I don't know what that glass shape is, but I don't actually know where they're getting like the source information from. Does it scour the internet for like a bar setting or a bar surface? When you look at things closely, like what actually is this machine here? Are these supposed to be shot glasses? Why is the shape of this glass it looks like three different glasses combined in one? It's all very bizarre, but it's definitely interesting and fun to play around with. Let's try a couple more. An astronaut doing a kickflip on a skateboard. Keep it simple and generate. I mean, I say simple, but really how simple can that be? Okay, he's got three legs. <laughs> Let's play this and see what happens. Nothing. A pizza box opening with steam in the style of a professional commercial. Generate. Here we go. So we're just about done. And what the actual... Let's just try something super simple. Pizza commercial. Generate. Let's see if that does it. I wanna see just something that looks like a slice of pizza and it's appetizing and you'd be like, hey, I wanna eat that pizza. Is that doable? Why does that, is that a pizza or a cookie? I mean, it looks cool, but like what, what kind of pizza is that? A running shoe floating in space. I feel like something like a running shoe is maybe a little more generic. Maybe not. It made a Nike. That looks like a Nike Air Max or something. There's a shooting star in the background, some planets moving. That looks like a shoe. I don't know if that's a shoe that exists. I don't know if Nike makes a shoe that looks like that, but I'd wear that shoe. That's a cool looking shoe. Could you use this in a real ad? Maybe. If you put a lot of effects on it, maybe you add some film grain and some light leaks or something and you make it like fast and combine it with other shots, I see an angle where something like that could be usable. Okay, so I think we're ready to move along to image to video. So we're gonna click over here to bring that up and we need an image. So I'm gonna start with this soda can that I just finished and just using my phone in portrait mode, we will take a quick photo, gonna quickly get this on my computer, and we will simply drag and drop that right into our image to video generator, click generate and see what happens. And here we are, we have a video, it's four seconds, we'll hit play. 
<laughs> I don't know what that was at the end, but I have no idea what to make of that. I think we got to try a few more things and see what else this can do. Now I'm actually in one of my old YouTube videos here and I'm going to take a screenshot from it. Let's try that right there. This is a big game energy drink just kind of floating there. So we're going to generate it here. All right, this one's now done as well. And you can see before even playing it that the text on the can looks kind of weird. So let's see. See, there's definitely potential in something like this because it's creating things that would be basically impossible to create in camera. Here is yet another screenshot from a different video of mine that we're gonna generate. And I do think you actually have the option to add a text prompt with the image that you're attaching. I'm just kind of throwing the images in there and seeing what it does because I feel like adding the text prompt is just gonna mess it up and confuse it even more. Okay, here we go. Already the colors look kind of different. Again, the text looks like it's not even in English anymore. Let's click play. What did it pull up at the bottom there? It brought up some sort of call to action. I did not tell it to do that. What? See this, I would love right now to get in a time machine and fast forward 10 years when this is perfected and see what this looks like. There's clearly something here that one day is gonna be really cool. Right now it makes absolutely no sense, but imagine you can just take photos of products, put it into this thing, type a little command as to like how you want it to look. Like I want an orbiting shot or a top down shot. I want snow falling in the background, add a parallax camera movement, and then just see what it can do. This is, uh, this is really interesting. Let's try something a little bit different. I'm gonna use a screenshot of me sitting here at my desk. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, already this looks terrifying. I don't even know what to say. This kind of reminds me of like the animations you would see in a movie like Shrek. I do not look right there. There's something weird going on here. This is, I, I can't look at this anymore. Next, let's try a stock photo of just a couple shoes floating. I just got this from a free stock photo website. Okay, right off the bat, this looks promising because the thumbnail looks fairly normal, nothing too weird. So let's click play. I don't, what is that? We are going to do two more. We're gonna do a slice of pizza stock photo and then a beer stock photo. That will be it. And then we will make our final judgments on what we think of gen two. Okay, here's the pizza shot. Let's see what happened. So the pizza on the table turned into what looks like cheese and crackers. And then the slice of pizza turned into it almost looks like chicken fingers on the inside and then crackers on the outside. I don't, I have no idea what's happening here. All right, let's check out the beer. Scroll down here and click play. Yep. <laughs> So there you have it, my first go around with Gen 2 in Runway. I am very impressed with the results that Rallonitis got on his photos. I think because they're such good photos and maybe they're a little less close up, the AI focused more on the environment and not as much on the product itself, which might be the key for getting successful shots in this. If you wanna check out his video, it's on his Instagram page. I will link it down below. If you would like to see more videos like this, let me know in the comments below. Let me know what I should try next if we do this again, and I will see you guys in the next video.